called Detective October is almost here and we're gonna be reading mysterious, magical, spooky, paranormal stuff. I'm a huge fan of that kind of stuff, so I'm very excited for this. We're gonna talk about my TBR and Rex for this. So if you are curious about what the genre of occult detective is, think the X-Files, think the Dresden Files, anything that kind of has like a paranormal weird detective vibe going on. I will link the announcement video down below because that'll go into a bigger explanation of what it all is and what it all means. And then you'll still have my book recommendations. So I'm going to talk about what I'm going to read and recommend those to you. And then also MJ from Reading This Life, she's the one who put this event all together. She has a discord channel for this as well i will link the discord down below and there should be a bunch of recommendations in there i don't know if we're getting a definitive list yet and if we do and that happens after this video is recorded i will link the list or document as well but as far as i know right now it's all just in the discord but i'm hoping for a list Let's talk about what I'm gonna read. First, let me tell you the prompts that we're gonna be doing. So for the first week, the first prompt is gonna be classics pre-1960s. So anything that was before 1960s. In the second week, we'll be doing more modern, so post-1960. Anything after 1960 up to the current day is good to go. Third week, we'll be doing diverse authors. And then the fourth week is anything goes. So I'm gonna tell you, I guess I could go in order of prompts what I'm going to read. Okay, so for the first one for classics, which is pre-1960, I'm gonna be reading Moonchild by Aleister Crowley. He wrote this in 1917. The plot involves it's a magical war between a group of white magic magicians and black magic magicians over an unborn child. And if you know anything about Aleister Crowley, he was an occultist. He wrote a bunch of weird books that have to do with magic and the occult and stuff in that vein. He also founded Thelema, which is an occult type religion, it has to do with uh, a whole bunch of different magical principles. That's a whole different subject matter. I'm not going to get into that right now, but that's what I'm going to be reading for like the pre 1960s. For the new era stuff, I have three books I'm gonna be reading. They're in a series. I read the first one a long time ago. I'm gonna reread it because it's been a few years. And it is the Warlock Holmes series by G.S. Denning. And I discovered this. So my partner and I, we used to stream on Twitch, I think. Honestly, I don't remember. We were streaming something. Someone came to the channel and I was talking about how much I love to read and blah, 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 blah. And it was this woman and she's like, oh, my husband's an author, this, that, and the other. This is kind of what the book's about. And I was like, that sounds awesome. And so she sent it to me. And that was the series Warlock Holmes. And I read it and I freaking loved it. I thought it was awesome. I picked up the other, there's like, I think there's five or six books. So the first one is A Study in Brimstone. Do, 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 do. Book number two is the uh, the Hellhounds of Baskervilles. Book number three is My Grave Ritual. And then I'll tell you a little bit of what they're about. I'm super excited to read more of them. I've been meaning to read more of them since I had first had this one sent to me. Sherlock Holmes is an unparalleled genius who uses the gift of deduction and reason to solve the most vexing of crimes. Warlock Holmes, however, is not. He may be a font of arcane power, but frankly, he couldn't deduce his way out of a paper bag. The only thing he's got going for him are the might of a thousand demons, the spirit of Moriarty trapped in his head, and his stalwart companion, Dr. John Watson, who is always there to guide him through the treacherous shoals of Victorian propriety and save him from a gruesome death every now and again. It's funny and it's weird and it's a good time. And like I said, I've already read this one, but I'm gonna reread it. So for that week, we have these three books. I'm gonna try to read the, the second one, The uh, Hellhound of Baskervilles. This one, the game's afoot once more as the long suffering Dr. John Watson and a bedridden and somewhat pungent Warlock Holmes, though he's getting better. They face off against Moriarty's gang, the Pinkertons, flesh eating horses, a parliament of imps, boredom, surrey, a succubus, an overly Canadian aristocrat, a tricycle fight to the death, and the dreaded pump crow, whatever that is. Oh, and a hellhound, one assumes. I would hope so with that being in the title. And then the next one is my grave ritual. And I, like I said, I think there's two more of these. So I didn't know that I'd be able to fit them all in with all the prompts and how many books I'd be able to shove into a 
month. So I try to be kind of realistic as they blunder towards doom because that's the way it seems to be with Warlock Holmes. Warlock Holmes and Dr. John Watson find themselves inconvenienced by a variety of eldritch beings. Christmas brings a goose that doesn't let being cooked slow it down. They meet an electricity demon, discover why being a redhead is even trickier than one might imagine, and Holmes attempts an Irish accent. And naturally, Moriarty is hanging around in some form or another. So that's what I'm going to read for current times of day. I think these were... Let me see when the first one was written. This one was written in 2016. So not that long ago. For a diverse author, I'm reading one by a female author, and that is Dion Fortune, the Sea Priestess. And I know this could also go for the before 1960s, but I figured since she's a woman, and there's a lot of the occult detective genre seems to be a lot of men. This book is called The Sea Priestess. Let's have some more story time with Sin. So in The Sea Priestess, Dion Fortune introduces her most powerful and archetypal female character, the adept Vivian Lafay Morgan. Morgan is a reincarnation of the Atlantean Sea Priestess who saved England from being submerged. She meets the asthmatic Wilford Maxwell, who is in the throes of a midlife crisis. After literally enchanting Maxwell, the two start a series of magical workings. This culminates in a ritual in one of the most important magical lessons of the book, where he assumes the role of a god. All men in one to her goddess, all women in one. Morgan eventually departs, leaving Maxwell to struggle with bringing the lessons learned in the practice of magic to the rest of his rather mundane life. The Sea Priestess is a classic occult teaching novel with romantic overtones and a foundation work for modern Wicca, paganism, and ritual magic. I'm pretty excited to read this. I haven't read anything by Dion Fortune yet, which is kind of surprising considering I have a kind of a big collection of weird paranormal and occult type books. And the fact that I haven't read anything by Dion Fortune yet is, uh, when I say unfortunate, that's no pun intended. But we're gonna remedy that and we're gonna read the Sea Priestess. And for anything goes, I love the X-Files. I grabbed another X-Files archives book. And this one is uh, two standalone novels by two different authors. One is Charles Grant and the other is Kevin J. Anderson. One is called Goblins and the other is Ground Zero. Let's tell you a little bit about them. In the Goblins by Charles Grant, the inexplicable is happening. A disembodied knife wielding hand causes a string of violent crimes and then vanished into thin air. With no leads and no clues, Agent Mulder and Scully are dispatched from the shadows to uncover the truth, wherever it may lead. All right, and so in Ground Zero, Agents Mulder and Scully face bureaucratic dead ends in search of what killed renowned nuclear weapons research scientist Dr. Gregory. As the body count rises, one thing becomes clear. This twisted puzzle has fatal consequences. Consequences has fatal consequences for the whole world. Do, 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 do. I love the X-Files, and if we're going to read about paranormal and occult detective-y things, I have to have an X-Files book in there because, uh, yeah. So those are the books I'm going to be reading. I'll put those all down below in the description. I will have links to those as well in case you're interested. Those are affiliate links, which is a great way to support the channel and indie bookstores. Also, I will, as I said before, I will link the Discord. There should be a bunch of books that people have been talking about listing off in there. Let me know if you're going to be joining us for Occult Detective October and what you're going to be reading down below if you are if any of these sound interesting to you i'm super excited to read all of these i'm really excited for this event too because i don't know if i would have got back into the warlock home series so i'm excited to get back into those october is gonna be a fun time so if you're a fan of weird books the next video coming up will be about another weird book so stick around check it out and if you had fun hanging out today hit that subscribe button come back see me again and we'll talk about more bookish things and weird stuff